Hello, and welcome to the official operating guide for the L99 mechanical keyboard. This video will walk you through the basic setup and operation of the product. The L99 supports three connection modes. Connect the keyboard to your computer using the included Type-C to USB cable. Touch screen settings icon. Touch connection on the settings page to switch to wired mode. After successful connection, the corresponding icon will appear in the top menu bar. You can now use the keyboard. Slide the switch to ON. Remove the 2.4G receiver from the back of the keyboard. Tap the settings icon on the touchscreen. Select connection and switch to 2.4G mode. The screen will enter 2.4G pairing and the keyboard will automatically start pairing. If it doesn't connect for a while, the screen will show connection failed. Plug in the receiver and the screen will display linking successful. You can now use the keyboard. Tap the settings icon, then tap connection and switch to Bluetooth mode. Tap pair and the keyboard will enter Bluetooth pairing mode device name. Aula L99-1. Turn on Bluetooth on your device. Search for Aula L99-1 and tap to connect. After the connection is successful, the screen will display successfully and the keyboard is ready to use. Note, Bluetooth mode BLE 5.1 supports up to three devices with device names. Aula L99-1, Aula L99-2, Aula L99-3. Tap the color icon. Here, you can switch between 20 lighting effects and set a custom color, brightness, speed, and direction for each effect. Tap the settings icon, select system, and choose Win or Mac to switch systems. Touch screen settings icon. Touch date and time on the settings page. Here you can set the date displayed on the keyboard. Please configure it according to your actual situation. Touch screen settings icon. Touch language on the settings page. Here you can switch between Chinese and English subtitles. Tap the screen customizations icon to enter the customization settings. Customized animation. Upload a local GIF or choose a preset. Then tap custom animation to preview. Background. Three fixed backgrounds, default or custom. Return to the home screen to see the effect. Screen. Four screen off modes available. Brightness can be adjusted at the bottom. For easy reference, the single press and FN key combinations for the F row are summarized in the table below. You can review the corresponding functions at a glance and pause when needed. Open the website allastud.com in your browser. Click on the Downloads or Driver option on the page. On the Download page, click the Google Drive link to redirect. Locate the folder named L99 in Google Drive and download the file ending with .exe. Double-click the downloaded.exe file and follow the prompts to complete the installation. Friendly reminder. Some features are only available when the keyboard is connected via a cable. Configuration management. Quickly add, manage, or import configuration profiles for easy switching between personalized setups. Top layer settings. Left-click any key to assign a new function from the list below. Once applied, the key will be highlighted. Right-click to restore the default function, disable the key, or enable advanced options such as macros. FN layer. Set a new function triggered by pressing FN plus a key, using the same method as the top layer. Click the New button. Select the Macro Recording mode here. Click Start Recording, then press the keys or perform the actions you wish to set. Once completed, click Stop Recording. The system will display the delay between actions, and you can click directly on the value to edit it. To add new actions, click Insert as needed. Finally, click Save. Then go back to my exclusive config, right-click on any key, select Custom Function, and then click Macro Definition. Choose the macro you just recorded. Finally, click Apply to save the settings. 
The macro has now been successfully assigned to the key. This section displays the full list of animations available for the LCD screen. If you want to import a new animation, click Import and select a GIF file. After entering Image Preview Mode, you can switch to Image Editing Mode or Effect Preview Mode. Choose whether to display the image with a grid background style. In Image Editing Mode, you can select any frame as needed and edit it using the tools below, such as Text Input. After finishing the edits, in the bottom right corner you can save or export the file as a GIF. Directly update the animation to the LCD screen, including animation, background, or frame. If you want to create a new animation or image, click New. Select an image as the first frame, and then edit each frame according to your needs. The editing process is the same as when importing a GIF. This is the complete settings guide for the L99 keyboard. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support us by liking and saving your encouragement is the greatest motivation for us to continue creating.